Hey guys, welcome again to the channel. Ubuntu 20.04 is almost out. I'm having a look here at the beta and let's see what's new. So I booted up now the machine from the Ubuntu ISO here. And if you want to download the ISO, you can find the link in the description of the video. So I'll just start the first option here, try Ubuntu without installing. So I'll just hit enter here. And I see immediately there is a new file system check here on booth with the splash screen. This is nice to see. And there you go. We are now on the live installation. So let me first adjust my screen resolution here to display settings, select my resolution and bump this to 200%. There you go. You can close this up. Well, the first thing you want to do is to check if you have an internet connection. So in my case, I have an internet cable already connected. That's why I have the icon here. If you have Wi-Fi, you can click on the drop-down here and you can select Wi-Fi, select your network, enter the password and you'll be connected to the internet as well. So let's get going. I see the installer has a new icon here. So let's double click it to install it. We can select our language here. So I'll select English and click continue. Now for the keyboard layout here, you can select yours. I have to scroll down here to Switzerland and select my keyboard here, and then I click continue. Now we can choose again, normal installation, which will install the web browser utilities and some extra packages or the minimal installation just with the web browser and basic utilities. If your computer has a NVIDIA card, for example, or your Wi-Fi card require proprietary drivers, then I recommend you also to install the third party software here by checking this box here and make your choice for the installation type and then click continue. Now we have here two simple choices. One is to erase the disk and install Ubuntu or something else. We used to have more options here, but they have been all included in the advanced features. So if you click here, we see the two options which were normally listed down here. So we could create here a LVM with encryption if we wanted to, or use the ZFS file system, which has been improved also in Ubuntu 20.04. But in this case, I'm just gonna select none and hit OK, because I want to install Ubuntu on the whole disk here, and I'll click Install Now. So it's going to create two partitions, an EFI partition here and an ext4 file type. So that's fine with me, and I click Continue. And now, because I have a connection to the internet, it has been already able to locate my position, and this is the city nearest to me, so that's fine, and I click Continue. Now we can create a new user, so I'll type in my full name. And I can give a name to the computer. I'll call it Ubuntu Beta. And I'll pick the username is fine and pick a password here and retype it. Now we can choose here whether to log in automatically or require password to log in. So I'll let this option here checked and click continue. And now we basically have to wait until the installation is finished. So I'll be back when it's done. So the installation is now complete and we can restart the machine. So I'll click restart now. And I'll just press enter here to remove the installation medium. And we are booting now directly into Ubuntu here. And I see again the new splash screen, which looks very professional. And now we can log in into our desktop. So I enter my password here. And I have to go through a few steps here before I can adjust my monitor. So first is connect to your online accounts, but I don't need to do this now. So I'll just click skip here and I don't need to set up live patch right now. So I'll just click next. I will add the options as they are. And the same goes for privacy. So I'll just click next and I click done here. You're ready to go. And now I can adjust my screen resolution. Just gonna take a second here. And there you go. So the first thing I'm seeing here in the display settings is that we have now the availability to set fractional scaling. That means we can scale actually our displays instead of integers, also with 125%, 150% and 175%. And this is gonna work only on Xwork and it's new in Ubuntu 20.04. So I know this is not going to work with my monitor, so I'll turn this off anyway, and I can close this window. And we have already some updates here that we can install. So for now, I'll just click remind me later. And the first thing I see here is the theme of Ubuntu changed a little bit. Let's open up here the home folder and we can see the color schemes here also changed a little bit. It has a little bit more colors 
The iconography is a little different also in colors and the fonts are also somewhat easier to read. It definitely makes a better visual experience with this new iconography. So let me close this up and go back to the settings. So another new thing here in Ubuntu 20.04 is the appearance tab under the settings. And this is basically going to give you the option of having a light theme. So if I click light here, we'll see all the borders also become light. We have the standard version, which was before selected. And we have also a dark version here, which is corresponding to a dark theme. And so all our windows here are using this theme now. So let's go back to the home directory here. And as you can see here, we have the same dark theme colors. We used to change the setting in the tweak tool, which by the way is not available and is not available on the store neither. You'll have to download this manually. So I'll close this up here and I'll pull up a terminal and I'll go here full screen and increase the font size. And let's type in uname r and hit enter. And we see here our Linux kernel is 5.4. It's not the latest, but it's one of the latest and it's the LTS version. So this kernel is going to be supported for five years as well as this version of Ubuntu. So let's close this up and let me change here the desktop wallpaper. I'll just select one here and let's lock the screen now by clicking here on the settings and lock. And we can see we have a new lock screen here as this is part of GNOME 3.36. So let me enter my password here and we'll go back to the settings. We scroll down to about here. We have also a new about section, by the way, with new infos here. And we see the GNOME version here is 3.36. So this is the version which includes the new lock screen and new performance improvement as well. And it's nice to see it in Ubuntu 20.04. Another new thing we have also in Ubuntu 20.04, it's the do not disturb mode. So let me close this up here. And if we click here on the date, we'll see we have do not disturb here available. And this is nice to have in case you don't want to be disturbed if you're working on something important, you just switch this on and you will not receive any notification. And let's have a look again at our software center here. So here is the Ubuntu software. And here we have our software center here so we can look for other applications. For example, if you're looking for Spotify, it should be there. And there it is. So the selection here includes apps from the main repository and also Snap, as the Snap Store is also already incorporated here. If you're looking for the Tweaks tool for GNOME, you will not find it here in the store. You will have to install it this via terminal. And let's pull up a terminal. And again, I go full screen here and increase the font size. So there are two tools we can install for GNOME Tweaks here. One is the GNOME Shell Extensions and the other one is the GNOME Tweaks. So let's install both here. To install the extensions, you'll have to type in sudo apt-get install gnome-shell-extensions and hit enter. Enter your sudo password here and hit enter again. And now proceed with the installation by hitting enter. And this is done. So if we minimize this, we can go to applications and we'll see our extension app here is there. This is a new one. And if we click here, we get three very simple options. One is to disable the desktop icons here, or we could deselect them one by one by clicking the gear here. We can also here increase the icon size if we wanted to. Here we could also switch off the Ubuntu app indicators or the Ubuntu dock altogether. So let me close this up and pull up the terminal again. Now the other tool we can install is the tweak tool. So let me clean up the terminal. Now let's install the tweak tool by typing in sudo apt-get install gnome-tweak-tool and hit enter. And there you go. If you get an error that the gnome tweak tool is not available, you might have to add the universe repository to the installation by typing in sudo apt add repository and then universe and hit enter. Once the repository is added, you can download the tweak tool. Now let me close the terminal here and let's go to applications and type in tweaks. And the tweak tool is there, so we can click this. And here we have the full options of the tweak tool. We do have the extensions options, which is the one we installed before with the options for icons, indicators and dock. But we have also the full array of other options here. So this is how to install the tweak tool in Ubuntu 20.04. So this is a very short overview of Ubuntu 20.04. It looks like a very polished distribution and it's definitely nice to see that it includes GNOME 3.36.
with the new features and speed improvements. And I'm looking forward to the final release, which is coming up in a few weeks. And there you go, guys. This is a quick overview of the beta of Ubuntu 20.04. The full release is due in a couple of days. And as soon as it's out, I will do the full review. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. If you did, please hit the like button below and subs to the channel. If you haven't already, subs really helps us out, guys. And if you want to support the channel, please visit our Patreon website. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.